Today I'm going to be teaching you the mathematical skill to multiply using the grid method. I would start by drawing three columns for my three digit number, followed by two rows for my two digit number. I would then draw in my upper left box the operation of the multiply sign. Then I would partition, which means split the number up, into each box. So the 467, the 4 would stand for 400. The 6 would stand for 60, because it's in the it's in the tens column. And the 7 would be just 77 units. I would then partition, so split up the 35. So the 3 would stand for 30. And the 5 would be 5 for 5 units. I would then move on to working out my first box. So I would do 4 times 3 to make 12. I would then count the zeros in 400 and 30. So I would add 3 additional zeros to make 12,000. I would then move on to the next box. So I would work out 6 times 3, which would make 18. I would then add my zeros on again, so I've got a 1 in the 60 and 1 in the 30 to make 1800. I would then work out 7 times 3 to make 21. And because there is one zero in 30, I would add one zero. There are no zeros on the 7 because it is a unit, so I wouldn't include any more additional zeros. I would then work out the next box, so I would do 4 times 5, which is 20. I would then look at the 400 and see that there's two zeros. So I would add those two onto my 20 to make 2,000. I would then do 6 times 5, which would make 30. And because there is one zero on the 60, I would add one additional zero to make 300. I would then finish the grid method with 7 times 5, which is 35. And then once I've done that, I would move on to using the column addition method to add all my answers back up. So I'm just labeling the columns, so the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the units. So I'd start with my largest number, which is 12,000. And I would usually tick them off so that I don't make the mistake of not including them. I would then move on to the next largest, which would be 2,000, making sure that the digits going to the correct column. I would then tick that one off. Then I would go to the 1,800 and I'll make sure the one goes in the thousands column, the eight in the hundreds, the zero in the tens and another zero in the units and then tick it off. Then I would go on to my 300 making sure the three goes in the hundreds column and then the zero and the zero. Then same for 210, two in the hundreds, one in the tens, zero in the units. Then I would do 35, so 3 in the tens and 5 in the units. I would then add those all back up, so I would separate them off using a line to show my answer. So first of all, I've got lots of zeros and a 5, because I was starting the units column, so that would make 5. Then I would have 1 add 3, which would be 4. I would have 8 add 3 add 2, and because 8 and 2 make 10, I would put those together and then add the 3 on to make 13. Because I can't fit 13 into one column, I would put the 3 and then carry 1 over into the thousands. And then 12 add 2 add 1 add 1 would make 16. So my final answer would be 16,345. And that is how you use a grid method to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. Oh,